Nola Jet here in Nightdale, North Carolina at Prime Barbecue. Good stuff in here, yeah! Welcome to Nola Jet. Let the good times roll. And this episode of our North Carolina Travel Blog, it's time for you to eat with me, Carolina Barbecue, at Prime Barbecue, which is the best barbecue in the Carolinas I've ever had. Prime Barbecue is located at 403 Nightsdale Station Run in Nightsdale, North Carolina. Prime Barbecue specializes in their own unique style of barbecue that definitely is influenced by Texas style barbecue, which is one of my favorite types of barbecue. This is a really popular spot in the area and there's a huge line of people already waiting to get their food here. I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to eat today. I'm a little scared they might sell out as it's just that popular. This is some of the top food North Carolina offers in the barbecue category, so our famous food eating videos bring you here for the Barbecue Carolina's Food Eat With Me Feast we will have today. This is the best barbecue restaurant in the Carolinas area for beef barbecue. And many restaurant review shows have given this place high praise on their famous eating show reviews. Barbecue fans looking for the top food the Carolinas offer in the barbecue realm need to add Prime Barbecue to their list as many restaurants review videos have really loved the food here and for barbecue it is the best place to eat Carolina barbecue. Traditionally the Carolinas specialize in pork barbecue which I'm just not a real big fan of but this place has my beef barbecue fix so I'm really excited to dig in if I make it up before they sell out of everything because there are a bunch of people here today definitely. So they have a lot of marketing merchandise in here, very similar to a lot of barbecue joints in Texas that I've eaten at. So it's uh, definitely reminiscent of a lot of spots in Texas I've been to. So I'm getting really excited as it definitely looks the part, but we're gonna have to see if it tastes the part. That's the important thing I'm all concerned with today. So as we get up closer to the menu, oh, it's looking nice up here. So we've got a selection of drinks, then under their sweets they have banana pudding, Texas cobbler, and mini pies. And they've got a choice of sides with Big Boss beans, sweet potato salad, coleslaw, mac and cheese, green beans, barbecue rice, cream corn, a huge baked potato, they have salads, and then their sandwiches, sliced or chopped brisket, pulled pork, house-made sausage, turkey breast, full Nelson, which is a beef rub, sliced sausage, pulled pork, slaw and pickled onions, and house salad. And today they do have beef rubs on the bone. And then under their meat plates, you've got a choice of a one meat, a two meat, a three meat. And we have brisket, pork ribs, house-made sausage, pulled pork, turkey breast, and they have all other variety of specials out today with a whole hog, lechon, jalapeno, pimento cheese, sausage. The meat's definitely the star of the show, but they also have a really good selection of sides here as well. They definitely have above average choices when it comes to their sides. So most barbecue places don't have quite a selection of sides this generous and this creative. So they certainly are taking a lot of time from all aspects of their food here. Yelp Dave's hungry, yeah! So yes, a big surprise, I'm meeting Yelp Dave here in North Carolina, so we're gonna have a barbecue feast. They have a really nice outdoor patio area here, and then they also have an extension to their restaurant with even more space to do even more food. This is a huge spot. Luckily, we got a spot inside. Look at my plate of brisket here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I got the sweet potato salad and coleslaw, and then these nice pickles and pickled onions. And I got the beef ribs to share with Dave. And oh my goodness, look at all this meat. We have a huge uh, amount of beef to get through today. So the total for my meal was $64.94. And then uh, one of the other people at our table got one of the mini pies, which looks pretty good. And uh, one of the other people got a beef rib and then another one got a sausage with some pulled pork. Another one got the pulled pork with the beef brisket. 
And then another one got pork ribs and the beef brisket. So I've got a nice selection of uh, people eating different stuff today, but I'm all about this beef brisket here. Let's dig into this. Oh, it looks beautiful, smells beautiful, and it tastes amazing. So, so this brisket has definite influences from the Central Texas Hill Country style that I do love so much. It definitely is cooked perfectly and has lots of great flavor going on. And I'm really happy with all the flavors here. And let's sample this sauce. They only have one sauce here. Let's see how it goes. And uh, it's a little sweeter than I would like, but it does overall taste pretty good on this meat. I'd like a little more spicy kick myself, but uh, yeah, you can't have everything. It's a little, a little more sweetness uh, than I prefer, but overall it works out. So this is definitely fantastic brisket. This is probably some of the best beef barbecue on the entire East Coast. And it's certainly better than the beef I've had in the past in Carolina style barbecue tradition. Let's try this beef rib here. This thing's a monster. Okay, perfectly cooked beef rib. All the flavors are exactly the way I like them. So they have uh, gotten all of the flavor stuff down perfectly the way I like it. Goes very well with their sauce here. And it doesn't taste exactly like brisket. Many places, their beef barbecue on the bone ends up tasting a lot like their brisket. There's a little bit of a distinctive flavor here for their beef uh, barbecue on the bone, so that is good to have a little difference. Now let's sample this potato salad here. This is a sweet potato salad. Got good flavors, it's cool and creamy. And this coleslaw looks nicely prepared as well. And um, yeah. Yes, good and crunchy, it's fresh, really well flavored. We get a little more of this brisket now to wash all of that down because hey, you always need more brisket. So I am very happy with everything I've had. Let's try out these uh, dill pickles and pickled onions and mmm, okay. Definitely those are well prepared as well. So I am perfectly happy in all aspects of my meal, everything is cooked very nicely. Um, there are great flavors going on here. There's a, a whole lot of wonderful layers of smokiness and flavor and all kinds of barbecue goodness here. This beef rib looks really pretty too. Oh, look how nice that is. And the flavors are uh, quite nice. Now the price definitely makes it a lot more expensive than the brisket. So it's kind of a cost uh, comparison there, depending if it's a special day or not, you uh, definitely have to watch out for the increase of price this rib will give you, but it is definitely a delicious piece of meat. I'm all Fred Flintstoning it, having a great time gnawing into all this delicious, flavorful food. And the uh, brisket is also fantastic though, so I couldn't tell you really which one is the better piece of meat today. They both taste really great. I'm enjoying the flavors and both. The beef rub, though, is certainly a lot more fun to eat. So for the fun alone, the beef might take the edge just because they're so much more fun to dig into and bite into. But this brisket certainly is always going to be a great choice. And you know, the sides are so large, I'm not going to be able to finish these things. So they definitely give you quite a generous serving on their sides. And it's more than enough, I would say, for two people with a regular serving size of one of these sides, because it is just a lot of food to go around when you have all of this meat and these sides. So they definitely are not letting you go away from here hungry. So oh, you've got a lot of stuff to eat. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to clean my plate even as good as this is, and as big of a carnivore barbecue food best freak of just taking down mass quantities of barbecue. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this plate. My goal is to at least finish the meat. And I don't know if I'm going to quite get to that point either. Um, and these pickles definitely go well with the meat too, even without sauce. So I kind of like the dill pickle and the pickled onion flavor almost as much as with the sauce. Yell Dave, going to do the rib. Can you handle it? Dude, the rub was spectacular. <laughs> I ate all I could eat. The uh, the whole hog with the mixed the crackles into was superb. The barbecue sauce was great. The rice tasted a lot like jambalaya. I don't know what they did to the sweet potatoes. They said they put some kind of a sour cream sauce on it. 
It's super rich. It's awesome. Love the brisket. I think everybody comes for the brisket. But don't miss the other stuff, too. So you're going to take a nap now? or uh, I think a nap is in order. Meat coma. I'm going to try and make it all the way home without having <laughs> Good times. And I'm just falling further and further behind. Look at all this stuff I still have to eat. Dave's all ready to uh, get a go box and be done. I'm going to do my best to polish off a little more, I think. I'm really full, though. I still have quite a generous selection of barbecue beef rib to go. Oh, my goodness. This is uh, delicious hard work, I can tell you. It's definitely pleasurable, but the pain of my stomach is uh, getting quite increasing as I'm really full. And uh, definitely, I've enjoyed each and every bite of the meat, the pickle, the onions, and the dill pickles. They've all been really great. The side items are above average, but they're still just side items. So I think for now, I'm gonna say that I totally destroyed this plate as much as I can. So go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this great barbecue feast. And while you're down there, make sure you check out the link to my Patreon account because hey, I work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So, thanks so much to everybody at Prime Barbecue for some amazing beef barbecue. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Knowledge Gen channel, especially to my Patreons. Now, if you could just go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, that really would help me and I really would appreciate it. So, make sure to tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.